And I don't say that lightly, because our union, along with other unions, have a proud history. A proud history going right back. And if you want to know a little bit of that history, our Aboriginal brothers and sisters have only been here 65,000 years and are still not being equally treated. And we stand with them, beside them, not in front of them, not behind them, but with them till they get justice. Yeah. And I've heard the previous speakers talk about peace. This isn't just a rally for Palestinian people. This is a rally around the world to say we've had enough. We need to see Palestine free. We need to see them free. I want you all just to start by turning to the left and shaking hands with the person on your left and say thanks very much for coming down here. But also, I'm going to be bringing another five or ten people with me to the next rally. So turn around and say you're going to be here alongside us together. Brothers and sisters, you won't be wondering if you die what side of the fence I'll be saying I am on and my union is on. We have a proud history of standing up right through some horrific crimes, horrific crimes. Timor Leste for independence, independence for Timor workers, we were there alongside them. The horrible war in Vietnam where we refused to load arms, to go and kill people, we were beside them to refuse to do that. And let me tell you, for the apartheid that happened in South Africa, Nelson Mandela himself recognised the Siemens Union of Australia for the stance they took on apartheid, and we'll never forget that. We call as trade unionists, all of us here today, we call for an end, an indefinite, an indefinite ceasefire. We call for an end in Gaza to stop the bombing, to stop the killing of innocent civilians. And we stand with every Palestinian in conjunction with them till that happens. We will be there alongside you. There has been thousands of men, women and children being massacred and slaughtered as I speak here today. I will call it out. I make no apologies, but only to say that is genocide and that is apartheid in the business. We will call it out. We talk. We want fuel to get through. We want electricity and fresh water. We want food to get through to the Palestinians left in Gaza. We have seen bombings of their homes. And when they went back on the ceasefire, they were going back to thousands of dead bodies and limbs and children being massacred. That has to stop. That has to stop. So in this country, and we're one of several, we have to march together, we have to stand together, we have to protest together to make sure our voices are heard. And so I say to everyone here, it isn't about Palestine anymore. Let's get our Greek communities out there. Let's get our Italian communities out there. Let's get our Irish communities out there. And let's say, let's say together, we will not and we will never end marching and protesting for peace across the world. That is union business. I 
I want to call out some people because I don't believe the union movement has done enough. I want to call out the leaders of the ACTU, which I'm an executive of. I want to tell them this, that we want you to organise, organise and organise again a union rally, one that brings them together. Sally McManus, yes, 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 Sally McManus, yes, yes, understand yes, Sally, yes, we need you, we need you at these rallies, we need you calling for peace, we need you to mobilise the masses around Australia and our connections around the world, we need you there. I want to finish, I want to finish by saying a couple of things, Mr Albanese, get off your knees, and stand up! I am sick of the excuses. We are seeing women, children, men, babies being slaughtered, Mr. Albanese. Screaming! Screaming!